welcome back to the channel and in this video we're doing the temptation island season three finale the final bonfire part two so if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications if you like the video smash the like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below we have a lot to unpack so without further ado let's jump into this video so last week it ended with the cliffhanger of both Kendall and Eric, where we saw Kendall trying to make Erica feel ashamed for kissing Jesse, while in turn he had no remorse for consistently sleeping with Alexis and having threesomes. So we saw in this episode Erica firmly telling Kendall that she realized she needed to put herself first. And because of that, she was going to be leaving the island alone. And of course, Kendall looked like he was going to fall over in disbelief. I mean, this obviously must have been the first time in his life someone chose to dump him instead of the other way around. We did see, however, um, you know, the two of them, because, um, you know, of course, Mark had his final say. But at the end, you know, she chose herself, you know, and she saw a lot over this season with the behaviors of Kendall and the threesome. And he tried to give her a hug and even tried to give her a kiss. Really? What? Bro, what are you talking about? I know she was like, nope, 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 nope. She wasn't having it. She wasn't falling for it. And he even tried to question her as if she was really sure in her decision making. But she held her head high. She stood her ground and she said goodbye to Mr. Kendall. And she also said her, her goodbyes to Mark. And, I mean, she felt really proud of herself. His facial responses was like, he was in disbelief. He thought that no matter whatever he did with this whole no rules thing, that, you know, she was just going to come right back to him. But, you know, Erica was definitely proud of herself for not falling for his tactics. I mean, I think a lot of the audience was definitely um, uh, proud of her, too. Again, Kendall being still in shock because now she's gone, gone, gone. Um, you know, he said, well, you know what? I guess I'll just leave with Alexis. And of course, as we probably all know, Alexis was definitely waiting in the wind, um, you know, for his response. But yeah, I mean, Mark... Um, you know, put a dig in saying, hey, we need to find out if Alexis wants to leave with you first. I mean, it would have been interesting if Alexis, you know, shut him out as well. But, you know, she came on and she chose to leave with him. Now, the thing is, he didn't give the whole truth. He made it look like he had a conversation with Erica and made a decision to go with her or pick her. Uh, no, she he don't she don't really know that he made her default because Erica turned him down. But I mean, she was excited about it. Um, he was mumbling under his breath. It was a weird interaction. But you know, it you know you can tell by Mark's face that he was like, yeah, this is not gonna be good at all. But um. You know, she's going to, I mean, she's really excited about it. I mean, he's looking like, I guess, I, I don't know. I've heard terms such as sociopath, narcissist, and different things when referred to Kendall. He has no emotion. And I think when we talk about the reunion, he mentioned something on why he felt that way. But, you know, of course, people are not going to believe it. But we'll talk about that in the reunion video. But, you know, the thing is, best wishes to her, you know, at this point on, you know, being happy about leaving the island with Kendall. Because, I mean, she's definitely into it. He's just still in disbelief that, you know, Erica walked away. I mean, seriously, 
I don't know what he expected with the no rules comment. And definitely she had a different definition, meaning Erica. But we'll see what happened at the reunion. So next up is Mr. Thomas and Miss Chelsea. And these two had an interesting season as well. Um, you know, the thing is with Thomas is that he was too flirty for Chelsea's taste. And Chelsea was too clingy. For Thomas, um, they spent the entire time on the island doing tit for tats when they see what was going on at the bonfire. And, um, you know, of course, we saw what happened with her and Blake and then Thomas and Sophia. So, you know, obviously their relationship, we would think, would end at the bonfire, right? But both Chelsea and Thomas admitted that they were unsure of their final decision. However, they definitely had to make a decision and pretty much it was time to do that now that they're sitting in front of Mark. So Thomas went first and he told Chelsea of his original intentions were to be on his best behavior. But when he saw her making out with Blake, it crushed him because she had broken their rules. Yeah, but you brought her to Temptation Island, Thomas. And that's exactly what Chelsea hit him back with. Um, I mean, he was going on and on about the fact that you broke the rules. You cheated on me. Blah, 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 right? Well, I know Chelsea was looking at him like, dude, okay, I saw your bonfire clips as well. And you talking to me about me and my behavior? I mean, it was like... He was throwing stones in a glass house to me. I mean, it was really interesting to see his responses. And, you know, Chelsea did have some tears or fake cry or whatever you want to call it. But she did tell Thomas that she did not want to come here in the first place. Um, Chelsea then realized that she wasn't going to spend her time worrying about Thomas cheating and was going to have some fun instead. However... That fun included an unexpected connection with Blake, however. Now, Chelsea did admit to kissing Blake and had no apologies for it, especially after she saw what Thomas was smacking uh, Sophia on the buttocks, on uh, the booty. Thomas, of course, um, you know, had his say. But, you know, Mark interjected and asked Chelsea to make her decision. And in the surprise... What we got last night was Chelsea saying how she wanted to get back with Thomas. And Thomas agreed. And that was what he wanted as well. I don't think any of us saw that coming. Even Mark, the look on the face that he had. He was like, you know, are you guys sure and happy with that decision? You know, the thing is, hopefully they'll make it work. But I think once Chelsea see that clip of Thomas and Sophia entering the bedroom in their overnight date, she might have a change of heart after all of that. But we'll see how that turns out at their reunion. But Mark's face was priceless. He's looking like he's trying to be, he's trying to smile, but at the same time, like, do you guys really know what you're doing? Are you serious right now? So... I don't know. I was not um, expecting this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Did you expect these two to stay together after the whole Blake and Sophia thing? I mean, it was crazy. It really was. So we'll see what happened with them as well at the reunion. So now we have, last but not least, Kristen and we have Mr. Julian. And... Um, of course, Julian was definitely excited because he got big plans for the night. I mean, this is something that him and Tula had planned for uh, Kristen, which was to um, buy this engagement ring and propose to her. So I was looking forward to that out of anything most of the night for this, this uh, part of the episode. So, um, you know, the thing is, he arrived first. And, um, you know, Julian was excited to see Kristen. And, of course, because of the fact of, you know, everything, they missed each other. You know, they immediately hugged each other um, at, the ban at the bonfire. Right then and there, you could tell that they were going to just stay together. I mean, it was still uncertain if Kristen was going to say yes to his proposal. 
but that remained to be seen. So Julian went first and told Kristen that he thought his journey would be proving his loyalty to her. However, he did realize that there was more to it and needed to understand why he made the mistakes that he did. And, you know, I'm glad that he took the mature route. He didn't get involved or caught up. And that was her purpose of them being on the show because he cheated before, you know. But the thing is, is that um, he wanted to prove to her that he could be the man that he needed to be for her. And he definitely seemed like he did some growth. He was really emotional about it. Um, Julian admitted that all of these things that had taken place, you know, had nothing to do with Kristen. But he had taken his insecurities out on her. And he told Kristen that he's not that same man that she came to the island with, but a better version of himself. And then, of course, we also saw how thanked him for saying these things to her and you know Julian for all of everything he said she thanked him I mean and taking things seriously while you know his time on the island Kristen said that she was hurt by Julian's actions and couldn't understand why he behaved that way so that was her reasoning for um her shutting herself down emotionally but she realized that that didn't help the relationship and she of course is no longer scared to be open with him mark also then asked julia and Kristen how they wanted to move forward and i was thinking probably like a lot of you this is the time for the proposal but the proposal didn't happen at this moment he did kind of prep for it when he told Kristen that there's no one else in the entire world he wanted to leave uh, the island with but her. And of course, Qu uh, Kristen sweetly responded that she loved him and wanted to leave with him as well. And Mark then gave both of them a big hug goodbye and, you know, sent them on their way. However, as they left the bonfire, they came across these bed of roses. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Julian, of course, finally proposed. Um, it was a very emotional one. You can see the emotion in his face. But um, he got down on one knee and uh, he proposed and Kristen just broke down in tears. She said yes. So I am so happy for them. The ring is beautiful. They both gave each other hugs. Um, I actually see these two sticking it out for a long haul. I mean, they've been together for 11 years already. So, you know, I'm happy for them. Let me know what you guys think. But let's get ready for this reunion. But first, let's do our post notification shout out. If you want to be shouted out, drop a comment down below. I will see you and shout you out. So this one in this video goes to Seth Rose. Thank you so much for engaging the channel. I'm glad you enjoyed my commentary. So until the next video, which is the reunion, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon.